Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy episode number 77, recorded on March 5th. 2020. I'm Agent Goonie Guy. Agent Dewey J. Agent Vane. And uh, my phone's beeping off the hook, and I think that's because we got a lot of news tonight, and people are just tweeting away. Hey, the Academy's live. <laughs> and if, if you haven't yet, maybe you should, so my phone just blares up some more. Let's do this. And tonight we'll be talking about the Hexathlon, as well as I spoofer, what is this? I've never heard of this. And uh, I think uh, we have our resistance pal, Agent Dewey J, who can tell us all about I spoofer. Oh, yeah. I know it. So <laughs> we'll get to that, as oh, well no. as Women's History Month and Women's of Ingress, as well as the release notes. So let's start off with Vain. I want to hear about your oh, hexathlon. I'm ready for it. <laughs> road trip, Miami road trip. That was. There, there was a lot of driving, quite the amount of driving, but uh, the meat and potatoes of the event, you know, the actual hexathlon, the reason why I was there for the most part, other than meeting more agents, spending some time with friends, uh, just gathering together and having fun playing the game. Also did a little bit of go ruck on the side for Ruck the Box on uh, Sunday with Mission Day, but the hexathlon itself, uh, Beautiful weather for it. Couldn't have asked for like a nicer day in Miami. Um, it was crazy though. I think about 30 minutes into the event, a few of us that were going for elite realized that with the smaller number of agents that were on site, we were going to have to push exceptionally hard to actually hit elite. So in Miami, we had about a total of 67 participants. Uh, once the scoreboard started refreshing and going live so that meant that you had to be in sixth place or above in any of the six categories to score elite so i think about 45 minutes in i realized that if i didn't focus on just one stat i likely was not going to be able to get elite and i just went hardcore on deploying out resonators i managed to somehow sustain deploying resonators throughout the entirety of the event and deployed and 988 resonators for fourth place. Um, nice. At one stage, I think 30 minutes before the event was going to end, I uh, ran across a friend of mine, Agent Interlocking on the Enlightened, and I just kind of looked at him and I was like, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm booming. What are you doing? I'm deploying. And we just swapped gear on the spot, like in the middle of burning <laughs> going off. Nice. Uh, people were deploying and capturing everything. And he was like, I need more XMPs. And I'm like, I need more you know, resonators. So we hot swapped right on the spot just so we could keep going. Um, and that strategy at least paid off. Uh, I mean, we both managed to get elite somehow. Uh, it was very hard fought though. So to all the agents on the ground at Miami that managed to snag elite, or got exceptionally close. Uh, feel proud about that one because it was it was crazy. So, in did you have elite from the first one, the uh, field test? Yes, yeah. From the September uh, field test, I went to uh, Providence, Rhode Island, and elite for that was I think twenty first place or higher because there were somewhere around like two hundred and ten uh, participants. So, Which is a heck of a difference. <laughs> that seemed like a. Um, uh, were people expecting more people to be in Miami? Uh, I, I'm not really sure. Like, I I always expect when I see a chat. So we have like a cross faction Telegram chat, and it's for a mission day or what have you. I always expect that you'll get people that are joining kind of like last minute because they're either unaware that the chat exists, or they're just signing up last minute. And that, that really wasn't the case. So majority of people that were there for the event had already gotten in the chat. So 
I guess a bunch of us assumed more people would be turning out and that just didn't happen. Um, which made it a lot harder once we realized that there wasn't going to be like another hundred agents coming out of woodwork. <laughs> <laughs> and we were, was uh, that the case like all over? Do you think? Uh, no, I, I think actually um, I would need to look at the numbers for some of the other sites, but I think Miami might've been one of the like smallest attendants for this uh, round here for Perpetua. Cause I think Houston or not Houston. Um, where, where in Texas do they San have Antonio. It? San Antonio. Um, I want to say they had like a hundred ish somewhere around there. Um, and I know a couple of the other sites were in like the 150 range. Um, nothing like did. overseas though. Overseas had big numbers from what I hear. Yeah. So, and like, can we attribute it to anything that maybe can be done differently next time? Like, was it locations? Was it coronavirus? You know, was it? Uh, just not enough uh, promotion from Niantic for those spots of what's going to be there. Um, I don't know. Like, what else uh, could be the cause of the lower attendance? I, I think part for Miami was just location. Uh, made it a lot harder for, for people in the U.S. to travel. Um, and then I think other sites like San Antonio probably pull, pulled in more people from, like, a wider uh, yeah. radius than something like Miami would. Right. They were more central. Like people can come from, a, you know, all around uh, and suck in the people that uh, might not want to drive to the end of Florida to yeah. go. How was the weather? I think of Florida, I always think it's going to be at least warmer than where I am. It, it was it was definitely a lot warmer. I think we hit like 77 during the hexathlon, which, you know, I, I left where I was at and it was like 35 and raining <laughs> and I came into sun in 77. I, I'm wearing like a t-shirt during the hexathlon and there are locals that are walking around in like those puffy like parka jackets. And I'm like, what is this? <laughs> it's, it's sunny and beautiful out. I'm wearing a t-shirt. Well, it it's sounds like fun. Acclimated to. And um, we'll talk more about hexathlon in the situation report. Of course, but you, you also met, is it true you you met a Wild Agent Academy listener? Yes, and I've been sitting here trying to figure out who it was from the <laughs> uh, Miami Cross Faction chat, but I'm drawing a blank. Um, they approached me right around the time that registration portal window was closing. Uh, we were going to go take the group picture, and I just wasn't able to, to like, what's your agent name? It just didn't come to me in that right. moment. Um, God. I can remember the face I just can't and I mean they had a blue shirt on so I'm, I'm assuming resistance <laughs> <laughs> or doing some ops like anyway um, and that's hard like I, that happens like at anomalies and things like that it's just there's so much going on it, like my brain has a hard time with names in general uh, let alone like when there's so much activity going on and then you have uh, so, to connect that name with a face. So I, it, it's like, get get pictures and then like, hey, post that somewhere and tweet it to me. That's that's why you carry bio cards. Well, we need to uh, make sure we all have Agent Academy bio cards. I need to. Yeah. We we need to jump on that. Yeah, I'll get the I'll get the research and development uh, portion of our conglomerate working on that. That sounds All right, good. Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Slow your roll there. And we don't got the budget for that. That'll be more codes because then you could have given him a card and then uh, the agent could have come to the website and gotten a badge for meeting Vane in the wild. Wild <laughs> Vane. And speaking of yeah. wild, Agent Dewey J, how's it going? What's it's going better now. I, you, I did have a wild last Tuesday, Fat Tuesday. Everything was going on. Of course, Fat Tuesday, so everybody's eating. I went to a theater troupe meeting, and we had king cake food. And what did I end up? I ended up with the baby. Oh. So I have a whole year of luck, but then I got to buy a cake next year. Don't you have to eat it? It's like a yes, fortune yes, cookie. I, 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 was getting, I was getting the last piece, and everybody's yeah, looking at me. I'm like, what are you all looking at? <laughs> and then they're like, 
eat that very carefully. And I forgot <laughs> all about the baby. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And then I took the first chunk and I'm like, oh, crap. Dental okay. appointment on Monday. Yeah. But no, I did not bite into it. I, I, I kind of knew it was there. But uh, yeah, and then I went from there to barbershop choir. What they have? King cake and food. I did not get the baby in that one. <laughs> <laughs> and it was my birthday on top of it. So it was it was a very full day. Um, but other than that, it's been going pretty much the same. Um, doing what we usually do in AMO2 Juliet 9, just large single layer fields, making it all blue uh, simply because we can. Uh, but I did get in a few uniques um, on the road for, for the job a couple of times. So I got in some smaller cities that, you know, have those two or three portals that nobody ever visits. And I felt sad. So I had to visit them, light them up and leave. Oh, so how sweet of you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just that kind of guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> Other than that, not a whole lot on the uh, ingress front. Just trying to get fields, trying to get links. Actually got a little bit of some blockage around here so we have to do a little clearing over the weekend to throw some stuff that sounds um dangerous well i'd rather clear eat, eat green but i have a feeling i'm gonna have to clear some blue <laughs> eat what prunes huh what yeah it makes you real popular when you clear your own team's links <laughs> But it just sometimes no, you just got to field challenge is over. We're done. Oh, with oh, you don't need to clear your own stuff. That's that's the excuse I'm going to use. Thanks. <laughs> nice. Keep it up. Yeah, I and I've just been uh, doing my daily daily run around and playing with the new uh, version. And uh, there are some issues with it. And we'll talk about yeah. a lot of that in uh, situation report as well. But just, you know, work, work, work doing we're doing podcasts now and i'm editing vid videos and you know the websites sites uh all like billion of them so Filling the tubes. busy 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 and playing some minecraft that was like when so, i'm home that's my home thing so i'm behind on minecraft even like i don't even know how oh. i can be behind on that <laughs> oh so that's pretty Yay, cool JBJ. jbj blaze just subscribed again and that's his 31st month being a subscriber and on a 27 month streak so that is very cool someone get that man a sojourner medal <laughs> like just on a cookie or something i don't know yeah we need a medal so that's us and now let's move on to situation report we've got a lot of uh things in here We'll turn off the music because you don't need that. I just want to show the uh, JBJ Blaze 31 months. That's really that. cool. Yay! So it, I'll uh, flash some of the news headlines while we're talking about it. The first thing, of course, is the Elite Hexathlon uh, agents, which uh, Vayne already mentioned. His number four placement. Congratulations. Woo! Where we need some like cheering bumpers. Uh, also, Grider 80, number mm -hmm. three, and that was in San Antonio. And Monkey nice. Pelt, number five for Media Artifacts in Salt Lake City, and number two for Resonator. So it took two. Elite. Took two spots. Way to go, agents. And I, I will say I, that Grider 80 does not surprise me at all. I've been in the first Saturday with her, and she's just, she's a machine. You know, I think I'm doing good, and then I'll walk up, and she's, like, tripled what I've done. I'm like, God, how do you do that? Did she get the most AP at the FS that I was up there for? Yeah, yeah. She gets, I, I don't know that I've seen an FS that she doesn't top out. It's nice. I'll have to get some strategies. Yeah, she knows how to do it. Field reporting for you. Go get some strategies for us, and uh, we'll put it on air next time before Here's a tip. FS. Deploy everything. <laughs> there you go. Just whatever you see, deploy. Don't bother. Don't bother hacking. Don't bother. You know, glyph hacking. Just, just deploy. And maybe yeah. don't deploy more than one. <laughs> maybe faster. Just to, you can deploy more than one. No, if you if you just deploy that first one <laughs> over and over again, you get more AP than if you try to yeah. fill out the whole thing. I, I, I honestly oh. think that's what she does. She knows how many to throw and when to throw and. And she finds a couple of frogs that are pretty tenacious, and and uh, she'll take them on one against three or two, and 
So they're racking up points, but she's racking up twice as many. You yeah, gotta, you know, gotta find that like sweet spot. So wherever the combat is occurring, if you can just stay on kind of like the edge of these splash damage, yeah. where everything is getting grayed out, but no one is sitting there actively trying to recapture it, and you just keep laying down resonators. And you know, my knuckles, I'm gonna get like the knuckle tattoo where it's just like plus six two five and that's you know, just every single reso deploy, six hundred and twenty five AP, let's go. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> That's uh. We'll have to do a whole video on that because I, it sounds like we got got some plans. We'll get Grider yeah. on there and uh, might, some other people. Might tips on that. But uh, let's hear about uh, the uh, ice spoofer. Ice spoofer. There's a thing. We we had the what was it? The Ingress Plus Plus or the Ingress? What yeah. was that? Was the Ingress Plus? One. It was around for a while. And they got um, sued. Yeah. Now, Ice Spoofer, tell me more I about spoofer, this. I, I don't see that there's any uh, legal stuff. And I, in vain, I don't know if you've heard about this or not, um, but I just I just kind of ran across it. And evidently, it is kind of like, uh, I guess you'd say kind of like Ingress Plus, but it's more for spoofing. You know, it, it, it's, its thing was, well, we can put you in any location you want. You can play any of these location games. Uh, but it, it was interesting. I, I, I thought, well, I'll take a look at that. And... Right you, at the top. You didn't of the download page. it. You took a look no, at the website. No, 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 no. Actually, I can't. I can't use it because it's for a fruity phone, and I don't use a fruity phone. I use, uh, you know, your Android phone. Evidently, it's just fruit, just Apple phones. But it, it's interesting that uh, they were complaining about it's getting real tough to make this to work with any of Niantic's projects. Yay! And they were asking Ooh. for people to help them, I guess, test drive some of their newer stuff. And up at the top of the page, it states, it is not safe to use iSpoofer for PC to spoof Pogo, Ingress, and Wizards Unite. So all that work they've been doing on the scanner to get rid of spoofers evidently is having some effect. And I think I've noticed less spoofing, in at least in our area. I don't know about other places. So I wish I could say the same. Uh, to, um, to well, you, you get to hear about every one of them. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I think the the amount of the volume of spoofing that I hear about is a little bit different. So, yeah, hopefully, here's hoping that it's positive change. Um, I think if they can get banned quicker, uh, yeah. that is going to help because uh, the the amount of time between like account creation when it's out there running amok and banning the account like that needs to be shortened. If they can fine-tune whatever algorithm is is causing the flag to automatically remove those individuals yes please yeah well but, well, and it but i think i'm on the same side that, that you want to make sure that you go real slow about that because you you really don't want it to go overboard and and you know start banning a bunch of people you get like what we had what was that six eight months ago when we just had a whole bunch of bands all of a sudden yeah it was it was right about the same time as is um ingress plus plus the lawsuit i think we were talking about yeah. that and you know some after, of those yeah uh, you know you don't know about some of those that you know it's not like the people who are cheating are gonna go oh yeah they got me at least most of them are right <laughs> most of them will be like oh no i wasn't doing oh, it me, what me? why can't you know, all these false bands you know so you never know to like how bad that was right it yeah. could just be they got a lot of people off like plus plus or, or other things similar at the same time uh they kind of screwed up too but. i can't say i know how bad it was remember i was banned for like 10 15 days well that goes I, was back one, to what I was just saying I, was, I got lucky <laughs> i came back but yeah i i can see it being a mistake and i understand it completely you yeah. know i you know you're trying to make it so that Vane doesn't have to stay up all night. <laughs> well, and that, well, and that's what I was going to say is, I, you know, with them going after the spoofers and make it more difficult kind of on the back end code and that side, um, it could be an uptick in, in people getting banned because it's harder <laughs> for them to disguise it. Like, that was the big thing with the plus plus. It made it so it was almost impossible to actually detect they were spoofing because it was so good and... Mm -hmm. And, and I take this from a guy in town that I swear must have been using it because he kind of stopped playing right after it got banned and all of his his friends quit playing at the same time. And it was just like 
all the times, if you timed between portal takedowns, it would be exactly what Google would tell you would be the drive time. And if you know your areas, you know those are close, but they aren't always like right on the money, especially at certain times. Yeah. And so I think it made it much more difficult to actually detect someone was was um, spoofing. And now when people don't have that tool, us as other agents can actually look at those times and they're not going to have the, the, the same accuracy that those apps did um, because they would just they would move like you were driving or walking, things like that, instead of just, boom, you're in a new place. And now we can see that mm -hmm. if, you know, they take that portal way different times. And so then they're going to get reported uh, much yeah. faster. So I think the, the ice mover stuff I was talking about, I think that it said that you could move at a certain speed or a walking speed. So, but yeah, evidently they've, they've got their number. And uh, Oxyosis, or I can't really say his name, the guy that, was way outside that may not be at work as he's supposed to be in the Philippines <laughs> said that uh, spoofing did reduce there, but there's still some numerous incidents and evidently there's not much spoofing in Montana, but then again, there's not much in Montana. So, yeah. So, and I think as, as agents and um, stewards of the game ingress, it's, it's a good time to go Niantic really good job. Like this yeah. is what we want as players for you to take care of these kind of things and not, you know, on the back end, make it horrible for us uh, as as players with, you know, increased speed lock. But maybe there are some issues. We'll, we'll talk about that when we get to the uh, patch notes or the release notes. Uh, the patches will come later. Uh, so also celebrating the uh, Women History Month, uh, Ingress has posted some... Uh, short uh, information for some uh, female agents for hashtag women of ingress. So you can check that out on the, the Twitters. I'm not sure if they're on Facebook or not. I they are on, on Facebook. Twitter. So they're, they're on, on Facebook. Facebook. I saw a page on Facebook. So they're on Facebook as well. So go, mm -hmm. go check those out and uh, uh, read about what, what these agents have been uh, doing and, and um, information about, their to, stories of, of the things they've they've run into and what they find most memorable about ingress and uh there's a, a nomination form and uh, of course that yeah, nomination more form. more should be coming um i made a small one bitly bit.ly slash ingress ladies capital i capital l oh and here um, i was so. getting the full link to put in chat i should have yeah. looked at that but i need a link little link and i think they have another link somewhere else that's a, that's a short link but uh yeah if you know a lady player maybe we need to get uh lady anthrax and uh zelly belly to uh hit that up and and put in their stories so can we nominate them is that what you I, I don't know if we can nominate them or not i don't know maybe you have to say you're a lady uh email address your code name code name for the agent you're nominating yeah we can nominate them there you go so yeah, we can nominate them. So I, I don't know that I want to nominate a uh, a green agent, so I might not. Do that, so. <laughs> well, that makes you a jerk. There should be plenty of resistance agents that you can nominate. There, there are a couple. I, I, I mentioned one earlier tonight. She needs to go in the Hall of Fame. So I'll put her in there. So really cool. I, I like seeing uh, Niantic. Uh, take the time to to celebrate their community and sorry I'm getting images in the uh, video for the podcast listeners you'll have to go Yay. watch the video to see these or go to the the Twitters or the <laughs> Facebooks and you can see all of it there so yeah, it's like a couple paragraphs of what they what they like or, or uh, their most memorable times playing Ingress so uh, not war stories in most cases most of them are talking about the great people they've run into and the things they remember. So, so speaking of war stories, <laughs> oh yeah, we had a little release, Ingress two point four one, and then uh, subsequently point, you know, two, three, and four, um, <laughs> <laughs> which is good, oops, right? Oops, fix. Oops, fix. Rapid yeah. development. That's that's good. Yeah. So. Uh, we've added a new feature. I say we as in uh, Ingress in general, but Niantic added the feature. Oh, 
actually their uh, developers added the feature and anyway it's a, um, a portal scanning which comes with a whole slew of new things um, namely badges or medals which is the scout medal which is a wolf apparently right so we'll get into that in a moment but they also updated the UI and added the boosts category uh, it's a new icon in the inventory carousel and it's going to support things uh, like the beacons and frackers and I'm sure uh, new things that's just that's a term that I wasn't really familiar with and it might have just been me but boosts I mean I always knew that those items were there but I never saw them as a you know as a classification boosts so it's nice that they kind of give them their own you know weapons and boosts and I just thought they were miscellaneous. Yeah, it terrifies me because I believe I've been seeing that lately in in, uh, Best Fiends. Anybody play Best Fiends? Anyway, on Best Fiends, uh, they added this new thing that was some kind of boost where it's like, you know, pay money and we'll get you through this level faster. I'm like, no! (laughs) I think Goonie Guy's been listening to too many podcasts because I'm pretty sure I've heard Best Fiends advertised like a bazillion times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everywhere. We just just start like going into the, like, hey, Raid Shadow Legends. It's everybody's favorite mobile game. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Best Fiends, I had me. I could use some more uh, free goodies from friends. Anyway, also, they fixed some bugs, which is always good. They fixed the store sync error on startup, or did they? Also, the portals appearing faded or dim, which now they're super bright, and uh, sometimes I confuse them for resistance portals. Is, is, is that That's just me? No, no problem. I think that might be you. What, what device do you have? I'm colorblind. A little bit. Oh, well, there you go. That might do it. So, um, you blue, red, red, blue, colorblind. I, I guess I get shades of blue and and purples. Uh, That's why you're a green agent. It helps. You can't see blue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see shades of blue properly, for a reason. Um, also, in the uh, settings menu, check boxes on some of the items uh, may initially appear like they uh, did not save when you check them and uncheck them. But they want to assure us that uh, they are saved when you exit and restart ingress. So if it's really important, do that whole restart shenanigans. And uh, like we were mentioning, the 241 release uh, point, whichever one was paused due to some missing translations as it was coming out. I'm, I'm not sure like how much that was, but I can only imagine if I opened up ingress and there was no text. Uh, in you know in English it might make it more difficult to play so yeah <laughs> definitely and, and I don't know I think it was a couple releases back but one of the things that they did that I I just love a good design when it happens and I'm like why didn't I think of this that when you hack a portal that has you know four or five things coming out of it instead of one 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 they're like hey let's put all three up at one time and then we'll put up three more, and then we'll put up one more, and I've got seven, you know, in, in three passes instead of seven passes. So whoever did that design, thumbs up. That was a great idea. Speed things way up. And there are a bunch of little changes that I've been seeing kind of like that that didn't make the patch notes, or maybe it was in a, a previous release that I, I didn't notice, yeah. but I think the icons on the... Um, uh, settings page, I guess, or what would that page when you know you see like store and nominations and that one, they those would, are moved, right? There's three on each side now instead of like most of them on one side and then like two on the other. Yeah, and they they move dynamically, or at least they're supposed to, oh. based on how often you go to each category. So the 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 categories themselves were trimmed down that way they were more like comparative to what we had in Redacted Scanner. Um, and then they were initially laid out in a similar way, but based on how often you go to certain menus, you'll see it displayed differently. Very cool. So Which I'm not a huge fan of because I just want to know exactly where the menus are. I don't yeah. want the I don't want the scanner to like say no. Right. This is more important to you because <laughs> gameplay changes. So yeah. during a first Saturday, I might be going into different menus than my normal day to day gameplay. So it, it just messes with my muscle memory. Just I'm be all for it. If it's, I mean, if it screws you up, I'm all for it. You know, <laughs> enlightened, I'm for it. Well, it didn't screw me en- enough to, to, you know, knock me out of elite for my answer. That's true. 
<laughs> you know, there's some back and forth, but you know, talking about parity between Prime and and Redacted, I mean, I think they're getting really close, and they're adding things, but there's still one thing missing, and and it's. I don't think it's something that a lot of people use, but I kind of used it, and that's the sonic landscape. You know, the ability that you, you know, if you were walking on a trail or something, it used to be you could hear, oh, I'm passing a resistance portal, or I'm passing an enlightened portal, or that's kind of near. Um, and, and that's not in there yet. There's a, there's a lot to the sonic scape now. I mean, the sound effects are really good, but they're still missing a couple of things. And uh, so I kind of miss that. It's all there, but it's very muddled. So the yeah. problem is that it's not as clear. Like I will definitely agree that I was one of those people that I always play with sound on. Um, and I like being able to just hear, hear the portals. So like if I'm driving or something and the scanner is just open, um, I can hear through the car speaker or whatever, or if I'm walking and I'm not exactly looking at the phone, I can hear it. Um, and it's with the static noises and a couple of the other sound features that are added in there. Now it kind of, bleeds over the useful information that you get out of other sounds uh, yeah. but there's actually a lot more now so like you can you can hear when resonators are being attacked by someone else you can you know visually see recharging and, and other things so there's yeah. a lot there it's just there's a lot yeah, there just some much. of the stuff that was there isn't there as, as much as it was I guess we could say but yeah yeah, I, I don't listen. I mean, I don't have the sound on like all the time. So I, and I used to not have the sound on at all uh, mm -hmm. when I played. So I don't even realize that that's a uh, change. Yeah. Well, so I know when I'm out that. walking trails or, or something, I like to make sure that I'll, you know, I'll uh, put my phone head down so it goes into battery saver mode so you can't see anything. But if you can hear, then you can say, okay, I, I need to pop that sucker back up and see where I'm at. How close am I to that portal? So, portals in range. Portal in range. Uh, also, there were some unannounced items that um, some agents reported in the Ingress community, community.ingress.com. Agent Mr. IOSO70 reported that glyph hacking is missing some sound files. Has anybody noticed that glyph hacking yet? Uh, not, not on Android. And then Agent Hyde. Hydralinsky reported that if ambient sound is above 0%, it shuts down other effect sounds. So maybe that's a combination of that that was messing up another agent. Yeah. So uh, folks, and, check and that it, out and see. And, and that could be platform specific. That might be, you know, an iPhone only issue. It could be. And if, if people are having this issue, uh, we recommend you go to the community and let them know there so they can you know, work on it and, and kind of narrow down what phone yeah. type and OS is, is having the issue so they can fix it. And then Agent Rostwald reported that the bug marked is fixed. Insufficient XM error when XM is available is still happening. I don't think that bug is ever going to go away. <laughs> <laughs> that specific bug, I think, has been with Ingress since almost the inception of the original scanner. <laughs> So it's not a prime specific thing. So it's just feature parity. Exactly. Yeah, no, no. I'm it the same what it was. If I remember correctly, that bug has something to do with the interaction between XM with the server and your client. So my guess is whatever work that they did on the servers that they then had to go and backtrack, that is just going to be something that kind of they'll always be trying to fix it. <laughs> right. Well, in, in true programmer, you have to say that's that's a feature, not a bug. And then, then you have to sell it. Yeah, it's a hard to sell feature. sometimes. Yeah, you, you, you didn't need to use that anyway. You need to save that XM. <laughs> right. Well, and I don't know if y'all have noticed any other things with this release or even the last release, but this week I have noticed that I have portals that don't show up on the scanner. And the, the last um, release, and it may have been the one before that, it was having similar issue, but I could click on one portal and as soon as I left that portal, the other one would appear and it's almost like it would refresh. I assume it's, it's caching issue, but, um, this time now it's just like, it's gone and it doesn't seem to want to appear for an extended time, you know, a few minutes and I've even had to, you know, reopen close and, and reopen the app. Uh, yeah, well, shut it down. 
We've noticed around here that a lot of lag in, in the Intel map, especially if you're using like IITC, so much so that one of the guys in the area uh, took a little video and, and basically he was like, oh, look, I can flip portals. And, and he, he would just click on the portal and it would change from blue to green. And I'm like, how the heck are you doing that? Well, you click on the portal, it, it refreshes it. And then it took it so long to figure out that it had been flipped or changed that uh, it just looked like he decided, oh, I'm going to make this one green. Blink. Yeah, this this was something that was uh, kind of happening a lot during the hexathlons, and yeah. we were noticing a little bit more of it after the events immediately ended, where portal state was not updating correctly. So there were a couple of like immortal portals that were occurring in True. the hexathlon play areas, where uh, media artifact portals really seemed to be affected disproportionate to everything else. Where you would go to neutralize a media portal that looked like it had one resonator hanging on. And to an enlightened player, it would appear blue, and to a resistance player, it would appear green, and neither of us could actually kill it. So that's not helpful. Yeah, yeah no. I, we had we had one in town that uh, was kind of left over from uh, the AP generator I made, and I threw a link, knowing that you know they'd all decayed. And then when I got on on Intel, I'm like, wait, that just crossed over seven links, and it stayed like that for two days. So yeah, it it, it had its issues. I, I think it's better now. It's not quite as bad. And if you do find one, just send me the link, and we can we can get the Ghostbusters on it. And, and yeah. I think uh, Cameron Scyther is, is correct. That is definitely a feature. <laughs> it's, it's to empty your inventory of bursters as you think you're destroying the enemy faction's portal. But really, it's just neutral, and you should have been putting a resonator on it. Anyway, uh, uh, to the portal scanning stuff, so this is kind of the, the biggest feature they added. It's it's a uh, opt-in feature that's going to allow uh, level 16 agents, and that in includes recursed agents as well in the U.S. Uh, to upload portal scans. And keep in mind, this is not a feature that everybody's going to get. This is going to be slowly rolled out, and I haven't even seen anyone with it yet. So neither. I, I don't, it may not have actually been rolled out to anyone yet. I don't know. You also need a supported device. So my understanding is that if you have a supported device and you are on the current version, you should see portal scanning underneath the like edit screen for a portal. So you go in range of the portal, go to the edit menu, and then if you have a supported device, you should be able to do portal scans. I'm not sure if they flipped the switch just yet, but uh, the latest information post pretty much said like, if your device is supported, you should now be able to go and see this. But it's a very small list of devices that are supported, to my current knowledge. And there's and not a it, list out there, right? Uh, not they, that I'm aware they of. They haven't put one out there, so I, it's going to take us kind of getting that list together, I think. Yeah. What exactly is a portal scan? So... Good, good thing you asked. So, uh, finishing this, the uh, portal scan is going to record information, um, images, uh, recorded images, it says. So, I don't know if this is kind of like snapshots, kind of getting uh, almost a video, uh, but this is going to be used for like AR stuff uh, and uh, to make it more 3D. So, they need a lot of, of pictures. It's also going to get lighting conditions, the time and location of the scan. Uh, and that way they can change things because they'll know how it looks in different light and they'll be able to do shadows and things like that. And some of this is assumption. Some of this is, is what they, they said. The shadows thing is assumption. Yeah. The rest is what they said. Also, um, how the mobile device moved during the portal scan and mobile device and the camera specs. Um, you, you'll be able to take multiple scans at a portal. And like uh, Vane was saying, it, it's under the edit menu. So if your account is eligible and your, your device is supported, you'll be able to see a scan portal button after tapping on a portal and then tapping edit. And I haven't done this while at a portal, but I tried it uh, like remote viewing a portal and going in and editing and it wasn't there, but they could have some kind of location detection and want you right there next to it. I don't know yet. Yeah, so it sounds like it's even if I, I'm testing it right now. So if I go edit, I have no, I have no portal scanning, no scanning. Do you, Scan no. do you have so, oh you're right next to one right yeah yeah well not so, i mean we shouldn't give that sound a lot like it's good a google sphere a photosphere that you're going to get kind of a 360 at the ground location so my understanding of it is that like 
multiple agents can submit multiple scans for the same portal. So it's, mm-hmm. it's not like with a photo where it's like, okay, I just have that one photo and there's a photo album attached to the portal. Like the more scans that a portal acquires, the more information that they'll have to build out any of the AR stuff that they're doing. The, the, yeah, this is like pure data gathering. Like I don't think this will be viewed in the game currently like you do uh, uh, seeing the image. I think it's just going to their servers and they're going to do their shenanigans with it. And it may not even be used for ingress in the future. Yeah, maybe for we're, we're uh, building future stuff game. For other stuff. So I wonder if it would be used also kind of for, as a verification. And, and I don't know how much you want to do this, but I know there's a lot of portals that, you know, the object that the portal is tied to is gone. You know, those statues down the downtown that, you know, have changed to other statues or been removed or like the Chicago anomaly where they were all the Chicago horses. And I think I only saw one horse left. So uh, I don't know whether they'll use that as a way to verify that, you know, well, that portal is really not there anymore. I I'm sure they, yeah, like, like they could use it, but uh, you know, they were working on that other uh, tool that was the 3d. Was it a shooter? Or it was some kind of like there's a whole other oh, game thing they were the working concepts on. Concepts they were working on, yeah, yeah. That you yeah, like did, you like use the air yeah. function to like shoot People each other. Running around inside the the building that we were doing like a laser tag with it. Yeah, and they were talking about it at the time that they wanted to get data to be able to do uh, portals on different planes, so it wouldn't just like you could be in you know a five story building and you could actually have portals on top of each other, but they were on different levels. And Mm -hmm. I think that's part of, you know, like when we see the the layers coming out up and over, that that was kind of in there to, well, we could do layers like that now if they're coming out at different. And maybe we screwed that up by people saying they didn't like that. But but other games might have uh, similar things. But going along with that, the reason why you'll want to do this, regardless of what the data for what it's being used for, is there's a metal involved, and this is a metal that goes all the way to Onyx, which is a big deal. So, you know, yep. we haven't had one of these... Uh, you kind of got what you asked. You said we needed a new badge. What You said that, what, about two shows, three shows ago? We need a new badge. Well, there's your new badge. I love new badges. Don't need no sticking badges. Uh, so you could get the Scout Medal, which is, uh, I think we showed it earlier, but uh, Bronze is 50 scans, and Silver is 250, Gold is 1,000, Platinum 3,000, and Onyx 6,000. So we're going to have a race for this one? I have to buy a new phone first. <laughs> I'd have to hit 16 first. <laughs> well, no, I got. this sounds like a good plan. Yes, let's do a race. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Goonie gets a bit of a lead. I, it may be uh, iPhone only, and then I'm screwed too. So who knows? We'll see. I, I assume it has to do with like AR core and the other AR like ding, ding. thing. Do what? Ding 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 ding! Look at you go! You figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and and I guess that's if you can play Pokemon Go and do the new AR stuff in it, then that's probably a good phone. Right, because they had that ad- kind of advanced AR. In it. Yeah. I, I think you you want to be looking at phones that support AR Core or uh, whatever the Apple equivalent is. Again. <laughs> whatever the thing. Apple Core. We'll call it Apple Core. Just because Apple Core. Right, you get sure? that when you eat an apple. So, um, yeah. Also, they're going to be supporting this possibly with a uh, or I. Maybe multiple, so not a, but uh, non-competitive cross-faction walk events to meet with agents, answer questions, and demonstrate how to upload high-quality portal scans. And they will be releasing details soon at some point. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. soon. <laughs> I see what you did there. And speaking of um, soon, I'm going to be posting. Uh, tessellation uh, images. I just checked while I was in there looking at the other thing. I have like four this time, and I don't even know when I got them. Did I get those all today? Got four? I think. Should I not have four? Am I, I got uh, <laughs> I how old they are. Warath, Room View, 
must defeat my perpetuaton and uh, I think that one, part. I think the must defeat yeah, one too. Does that one look like Calvin? Yeah, that's the Calvin one. Yeah, that's, those, those that were, should be really new. Yeah, a few of those were right after the he- well, a few of those were during the hex, and okay. then a few were immediately following it. So they're all old at this point, but <laughs> thanks for raining on my parade there, Agent Finn. <laughs> what about what about the ring one? Happy to oblige. The one, uh, ring? That one was during the hex as well, I think. One ring was during the so hex. So you got an old one too. We're all no, old. I don't even have that one. I just saw okay. somebody else had it. Uh, I did actually get one that I got within like the first twenty people that that submitted. I didn't see your name on the list, by the way, Goonie. But uh, I didn't even look for Vane. He he he's doesn't do that. I would if I was ever at a portal when the live drops were occurring. I'm, I'm generally either trapped at work or I think during during the like weekend with the hexathlon, I was either driving or just not paying attention when that was occurring. <laughs> I actually I was on my way to work and I was going in late and I was going through town just bing 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 bing. I'm like oh oh I got one. Right so and I over. so I have no clue what portal dropped any of these. Like it, yeah, I couldn't tell you if if it was you know cost my faction i would just have to give you a guess and it would be like one out of a hundred portals that i went past today so um with that uh there's we have a message in here or um niantic posted a message uh, congratulating a resistance agent on finding the yuri uh tessellation yuri Nagasa. so yuri Nagasa. Uh, were they the first agent to find it is that why they this was a live drop, right? Yeah. So with the uh, with the physical ones, that like one person gets it. So we'll link to that, and you can uh, tweet them a congrats as well. And if you want, I didn't even know this was a thing, but apparently there's a proclamation of discovery in the Tessellation community forum uh, that uh, Pack posted. Basically, hey, when you find these post it like tweet it you know it's a social media drive thing and they just updated it and that's why i saw it with um a request to please add uh one or more of these hashtags which is hashtag ingress tessellation or ingress actual gameplay footage to the posts and uh they may send you or they may retweet it or they may do stuff we'll link to it and you can decide if you want to proclaim your discovery in a tweetish or a Facebookish way. I'm making new terms. Good job, good job. Just make up words. Right. And we we ended up, but we just ended round seven. Is that right? Uh, is it ended or is it still going on? Because they're doing I the voting they, and stuff. I think they put out scores for seven, and uh, I think that it's. Uh, I think Enlighten picked up the most points in that particular one, but I think that uh, Resistance is still in the lead, and. Thank God Nemesis is, is trailing behind. So I don't remember the exact scores, but I remember that uh, they did make a pretty good jump for, for the Enlightened. So, and uh, I, so there's something that's happening at 1600 today, is it? Uh, 1600 UTC. Yeah, well, that's why I was thinking it was still going on because they were saying that today uh, the rest of uh, the 10 Tesserae will be announced. Yeah. What is the 10? Well, how many total do we have, Bane? Is it 23? So is that round 8, or is that part of round 7? Mm, not entirely certain on that, because like, more are coming. More. more coming. A lot more. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I, I think, that if I remember right, we're like about halfway through it. Is that about right? Yeah, for, for placed... Uh, you know, Tessera on the board, we're, we're a little over 50%. Yeah. So they're going to be releasing, te- releasing the information on the next 10. You know, they're going to be taking the tap and just kind of like slowly opening it up a little bit more, a little bit more. more. Dribbles more. So does that mean that's round eight? These 10 <laughs> they're going to talk about? Potentially. Uh, I would assume if... I so like I am horribly behind. I do not know if they. Uh, like so it, uh, let me read this because yeah. this is from the truth seeker himself, and I, and I just don't understand like, like 
uh, if the round's over, like, so they're still doing predictions and stuff, though. So let me read this, and y'all can make sense of it to me, because I am a moron. So, Truth Seekers, after a whole series of mind exercise, we have finally made it to verification time for round seven. This was on March 3rd and edited on March 4th. Uh, we have 15 test array in total. The test array live drops have already been verified. Please make your predictions wisely. Verifications for the rest of the 10 test array will be announced on March 5th at 1600 UTC. The tethered hand has agreed this time to let those who wish to withdraw their chance of making predictions to state their decision in a comment in the appropriate thread before March 4th, 2300 UTC. All that's already passed, so uh, you can't do that anymore. Anyway, you will have until March 6th, so that's tomorrow or soon because it's 1800 UTC, and I have no clue when that is to make your placement predictions. So that's placement predictions for round seven, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah those okay. are placed for seven. Yeah, so those have been found, they just haven't been placed. Okay, so. Now, does that mean those 10 or 7 or 8? <laughs> yes. Why is this so confusing? Those should be 7 then. Okay. Not 7. Yeah. Okay, well, good. Have we not had a thing, in, an ingress that doesn't have some confusion in it? Right. Yeah, you know, five it's all part of it. Drops. Huh? Five of those were live drops, and then the five rest were. How many of those live drops are you? Zero on that one. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Wah, wah, wah. You know how many I have total through the whole time? Zero! That's just, you know. Okay, so also something that I um, noticed while I was looking at the Tesseray Tessellation stuff today was apparently there's badges on the forum for uh, different uh, Tesseray stuff. Did y'all know that? Yes, yeah, those were, uh, oh, God. Yeah, uh, that was a while ago. Three or four, I think. Yeah, somewhere around there. First Discover, Verified. So, uh, others. There, yeah, there's um, First Discover. So you were verified as the First Discover for at least uh, one Tesseray. Uh, then there's one for Discoverer. You were verified as a Discoverer for at least one Tesseray. Does that mean you were, like, the the top Top three. three? Okay, top three who got that. Okay, so that's why I don't have it, even though I posted that I found one. Because I discovered one, but I wasn't a discoverer. Makes sense. Okay, Tracker, you have made at least two posts demonstrating your understanding of tessellation directives and or helping agents new to the investigation. So do you get that just for kind of helping in the forums and, and giving info or just posting images that you got it a couple times or all of that? Do we yes, the all of the above kind of a little bit of this a little bit of that whatever uh niantic teams is helpful to other people so i think you know answering questions that other agents might have on different things but so uh, i wonder if that's all manual or if you just go in and post twice in the tessellation form if you get them no those are manual awarded i believe you're not gonna you're not gonna sleuth out a way to automatically get that one mm, we'll see i'm gonna go post twice <laughs> no, I'm just Everybody should go post twice. This is just a test. <laughs> you can even make a thread that says Agent Academy test. That's fine. I've been banned off forums before. They can do it again. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, post and test and we'll see. But, you know, it gets people on the forums. That's great. Go there. Say hi. Uh, ask about if you have questions about the tessellation. Do it there. Like start a thread about it and your question. And I think that'll help other people who have the same question that don't want to post there as well. Anyway, that's that. And I swear we had more news. I had more news in the intro, didn't I? Did you? I don't know. We can let it go. We had the tessellation. We talked about that. Check. Heck, that Athlon. Check. We have the ice spoofer. Check. We talked about that. We had uh, the new Scout Metal, which was kind of part of the um, portal scanning. So, yeah. So, I guess we, we hit everything. Um, and Women of Ingress. So, uh, did we miss anything? I'm just getting really efficient. And the release. Yep. Okay. So, I guess that's, that's that. Unless anybody has anything else, we'll give them the code. 
Do it. A code? You, you want to get the code? code? You might want to get the code. Cold? Code. code? Code? What's code? The passcode for this episode of the Agent Academy number 77 is AA Women of Ingress AA. And you can go submit this now on the website. And it has been verified by um, Agent Goonie Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I put it in there. Got to wait till it really works. See if JBJ Blaze comes back with it. Hey, now, I resemble that remark. I think. I think that was something to say about me screwing up in the past. (laughs) Uh, I do want to say thank you for everyone in the chat. It uh, is good to see y'all here. Uh, There's a whole slew of people, and um, if you've this is something that's kind of cool. If you have Amazon Prime. Uh, for free, if you haven't used it in another Twitch channel, you can subscribe for free. And that means you get all the uh, icons for the channel for free uh, for a month. And you can just redo that every month if you like these. I'm going to do some icons. Bam! Um, And we'll probably change those out uh, over time. Um, Matter of fact, I know we probably will soon because the channel name actually, then this is kind of just... um, some paperwork for the agent academy we may be changing to an overall uh channel name because there's some other shows that uh, might be happening soon that are non-ingress related and uh anyway we'll let everyone know when that happens uh but with that we may change out some of the icons to fit uh multiple shows and things like that but you also get uh academy points which may change to some other kind of points but they (laughs) will do the same stuff you get those just for watching anything on the channel and they just tick up uh you get more if you're a subscriber uh but then you can do stuff like highlight my message can i do that even though i don't highlight it do that do that bam so stuff like that so you can make your message highlights and it's basically free uh you have to listen to us that's that's the downside right so um (laughs) Farming all those points. I'm up to 2K points now. Bam! It's going to make a badge. We're still waiting for... Uh, JBJ Blaze actually used his points to get a badge on the website, but um, he's got to design it. So as soon as we get that info, we'll make a badge, and then he can give out a code to anyone in the world to get a badge on the site. Kind of like the episode badge. How cool is that? He's the man. Or he's the woman... Of ingress. See, yeah. See how I, I, I see where you. Did. I see what you did there. I pulled it all around. Anyway, by the way, the badge works. I tried it. Yay! Right. Yay! I can't believe JBJ Blaze didn't tell us. Well, um, I think that's it. I don't have anything else. I'm good for a while. Okay. Well, everybody, get out there, move, and we'll see y'all next week. Throw greenfields in my in my cell so I can tear them up. I dare Ooh, you. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> what 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 cell is that? Yeah. Sleep so hey, over the cell. Can. Put the anchors outside of the cell. Uh, yeah, well, you know, yeah, don't anchor in like Boston and throw to LA. That 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 I mean, to Why not though? If you can. Oh, this sounds like a oh. challenge. It does. I think we yeah, should. We've got some code, so the op room spun up. Yeah, I will say the last time that I was baffed over well was a Goonie guy. That was the last <laughs> time I was baffed over well. I, I got to give him that. <laughs> that was like my uh, 60 million AP day, or not AP, yeah. um, uh, MU day. You covered like a quarter of the United States. <laughs> that was fun. I was just a piece, though. I was a cog. Yeah. It was fun. As long as you were a tool. I like that. Triangles. The triangles. Good triangles. Triangles. So anyway, there's the challenge. Uh, green fields in cell. I didn't hear your cell earlier. O two Juliet nine. Okay. O two Juliet nine. So we're like campaign in the same column. Yeah. Right. Because I'm O two Juliet O two. Yeah, you're just a little south. Yeah. Um. Uh, and we'll give some codes away. So, screenshot your your uh, total fields there, whatever, 
and uh, we'll have Dewey J verify it with his Smurf tears. And Clay <laughs> said he did verify the code word. So nice. Thank you once again. And now for the third time. See y'all next week. Bye-bye. Bye bye. <laughs>